Michaela. Yeah. Hi, I'm Chelsea. I'm going to take some x-rays of you today. Okay. Um, can you just verify your name and date of birth for me? It's Michaela Clementer, 9094. Perfect. Um, so we're taking two x-rays of your scapula. Okay. Um, so can you tell me what happened? Yeah, yesterday I was getting out of bed and I just slipped and fell and hit my um, scapula right onto the bedroom. Okay. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your pain? It's probably about an 8 right now. Okay. Does anything make it better or worse? Um, some ice makes it feel a little better. Some movement makes it feel a little worse. Okay. Terrible. Is it throbbing, achy? It's kind of like a throbbing pain. Throbbing pain. Okay. Is there any chance you could be pregnant? Mm -hmm. Okay. When was your last menstrual cycle? Um, last week. Okay. Perfect. Um, so what I'm going to have you do is change into a gown for me. Okay. Uh, just make sure the opening is in the back. Um, if you have a necklace or earrings on, take those off and take your bra off for me and then just come back in here when you're ready. All right. Thank you. All right. So if you can just stand against the board for me. And first we're going to do an AP scapula. And this is taken on a 10 by 12 cassette lengthwise. When doing an AP scapula, we will um, use an SID of 40 inches, and it's 85 kVp at 11 max. So just make sure that this is detented. Here we go. And for an AP scapula, I'm going to have her scoot to the side because we're doing a right scapula. And bring her arm out at a 90 degree angle. You're going to find her coracoid, so it's about right there and go two inches below, so we're there, and then just enter in the mid-scapular area. Um, and when taking this, let's get up just a smidge, you just want to make sure you're getting the whole scapula in the image. And before I take the exposure, I'm going to shield the patient. Then don't forget to mark it. Put our right marker there. And for this exposure, I'm going to have her breathe slowly. So just breathe real slow for me. Take the exposure. You can breathe normal. I'll take my marker back. Okay. And for the AP scapula, what you're going to see is uh, the lateral portion of the scapula free of superimposition from the ribs. The scapula horizontal and not slanted. Scapular detail through the superimposed lung and ribs, a chromium and inferior angle, soft tissues, and a bony trabecular detail. And next, we're going to move on to a lateral scapula. Okay, so when doing a lateral scapula, you're still going to use a 10 by 12 cassette uh, lengthwise. You're still going to use a 40 inch SID. So you don't have to move this because you're already there. Um, you are going to bump your mass up a little bit. It's 85 kVp at 14 mass. And for this one, I'm going to have her turn and face the board. And you can do this in an REO or an LEO position. Uh, but we are going to do hers in an REO because we're imaging her right scapula. And I'm going to have her reach around and just rest her hand against her back and then put that affected shoulder against the board and we're going to enter in mid scapular area right where the scapula protrudes and you can see that when they reach around um, and then just make sure everything's lined up and you have the whole scapula that is pretty spot on and then mark it and when you're doing this, just make sure that you turn your shield around so they're still shielded. Um, and for the lateral scapula, you see lateral and medial borders superimposed. No superimposition of the scapular body on the ribs or the humerus on the area of interest. Inclusion of the acromion and inferior angle. Lateral thickness of scapula with proper brightness and soft tissue and falling trabecular detail. And for this exposure, you just have to hold her breath. So hold your breath for me. Take the exposure, and then she is good to go. And that is an AP and a lateral scapula.